All right, for this build, this is what you're gonna need. We'll start with the primary block. That's gonna be your white concrete. This is for the walls. You could replace this with diorite, birch, um, whatever's accessible to you. I preferred the white concrete. As you can see, about three whole rows. And at the bottom here for the flooring of our house, stripped spruce wood. And then this will be the rest. So coppering for the roof, quartz for the other sides of the roof. We have a birch fence gate, birch fence, three stacks of cobblestone, some wax exposed cop cut copper slabs. Same for the stairs so they keep their color. The blocks. We have some brick for the fireplace, two campfires, some lanterns, iron bars, lots of glass. Okay, we can get started. If you want, you can fill the basement layer in with dirt or whatever you want. You could even expand it down to make a full basement for your house. You could also add texture to your foundation with different types of stone. Be careful of the porch when you're going up because this is going to be andesite instead to kind of set it apart. That is the front door, and this is the side door. Just like that. For the fireplace, you're going to double up on the brick blocks here. One, two, three, then along here. Then you're gonna place slab, 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 stair, stair. That's the second layer done. The foundation done. For the third layer, we'll start with the porch. So front door, side door. We have the fence rail on the stairs like this. And you're going to come one out. One, two. One, two, three. Back to the front. One, two, pull. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, one, two. And now we're going to do the walls. And so we're going to leave a space for the doors. This will be the front door. The side door will be directly center. 
we are going to leave a gap for the fireplace. Just like that. You're just going to kind of go around the cobblestone. We're going to have our first part of our wall done. Okay, expanding out on that layer here. Oop, excuse me. Flat our doors. We're using the mangrove doors for the red. We're going to have our first little staircase right here. Port stairs with mangrove plank. Then one, two, three, four. Four by three row of the stripped mangrove wood. This is where your dark oak stairs come into play. But again, you can decorate however you want, just like that. And it's going to be one back from the store. Put your stairs. Then on these corners, we're going to have the corner windows. So. We have our smooth quartz stairs for the bottom. Just three around there, three around there. I'm going to come on up to our fireplace here. Campfire goes there in the space that you left. Okay, so we are on to the next layer. You're going to bring up the porch for the overhang on the ends here. On this far corner. And then on either side of the side door stairs. We're going to put two windows right there in the middle like that. Window here. And there's going to be a lot of glass for the living area. So, one here on this wall, one directly back here. Oops. The side windows. On your little stair column. And then one, two, three. Mirroring that on the far back there. There's also going to be another window here. Two blocks in from the fireplace. Three at the back. With a side window. One, two, boop. Two windows back here, a window above the couch. We're bringing this staircase up one. The granite stair, brick slab, brick stair. And then on the back side here, brick, slab, brick. Stair going in. Brick, 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 stair on the end. Like so. Let me know what you think of the uh, layer by layer method or if you prefer how I did it last time where I sort of kind of rebuilt it from scratch. I feel like this makes it very clear. You can go up one at a time you have a lot of shots of the house. Comment below what you prefer so I can uh, keep that in mind for the future. So back to this porch. We're going to raise the posts up by one. By one. There you go, like that. You are going to bring the walls up by one. All of the windows are going to be too tall on this bottom floor. Like so.
Now, for the staircase, we're getting ready to kind of merge the landing to the bottom of the ceiling for the first floor. So we are going to add three mangrove stairs. It's going to come right up here to this pillar. Then you're going to have, again, the stripped mangrove wood. We're going to have the plank. The railing's going to go up with us. Another set of stairs. And for this window, not required, but I put little shutters on it to make it like a little reading nook. But again, you can do it however you would like. Our corner windows, again, I've gone up by one as well. And our fireplace has a very simple upgrade. We are now doing the chimney that goes up to the roof. So it's going to get real easy here. We're narrowing down into a single layer. So it's just going to be one block on top like that. And then at the back here, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two. Okay, now we really have that first floor outlined, as you can see. So this is going to be our next layer. For the porch, we'll start there once again. You want to bring these poles up again, one more high. And then on the outside, you are going to put slabs, the quartz slabs, going all the way around. I used smooth quartz slabs. We have the smooth quartz stairs for the top of these corner windows. Again, it's just one, two, three. But upside down this time, one, two, three, like so. And then for our staircase, we are going to add another row of the upside down mangrove stairs. And again, we're replicating the pattern. We're bringing the stairs again up one more like this. And for the fireplace, we are encasing it now. As you can see, we have brought the front up to just a single block. A small recess for the bricks. And we're going to bring the white walls around and we're going to have the brick that goes up. For the back here, brick, stair, stair. Okay, bringing this up again by one more layer. For our porch, we are going to begin our coppering. So you're going to want copper stairs. The cut exposed, waxed exposed cut copper stairs. Like that. We have another set of stairs goes along the inside like this. See these poles go up to the corners. You do this all the way around. For these outside corners, because this is where this part is going to kind of jut out to create a wider rectangular shape. We're going to put two quartz slabs on either corner like that. And then bringing it back around to our fireplace. We're very simply going to go one, two, two bricks. And going around, we are going to start the roofing or our attic space here. So I'll give you the full view. This is the back of the house. And you're going to start the roofing there. So we're gonna start the upside down, right side up stair for the roofing. That's eventually what it's going to be. This is where it starts. Comes off one to this back window here. The one with the two windows. 
And then we are going to stretch it around to this side, where again, we're going to bring the roof up just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I'll start here by the side door. It'll be this first little part that pokes out that we're going to accent with another roof. Again, that's going to come out to one that you can sort of do. We have our first little ceiling done. This is going to be a high ceiling. So a good mark set is here, the corner window. You're going to take the roof all the way down from the corner window. Seal off this room. So this will be your living space. This is the entrance. Our stairs are going to wrap around here. We'll have a little peek down into the stairway, like from the house. In the movie, from what I could work out, anyway. <laughs> so this is where our staircase is ending. It'll be right up here. So we have, from this roofing, comes down to the bottom stair here. If you need help with the measuring, right there is our last space. Three overhang, we come back one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, on to the next layer. So we're bringing this whole living space room up by one, pretty much all the walls up by one. So here, the fireplace is just going up by one. We're taking the roofing again up by one. Just following that pattern. Here, we're going to start making our tower. Which we're going to have a little ladder that lets us go up. Comes here from this side room. So we'll have a door there. Go. So I guess to measure this out, kind of take you around here first. This might get a little tricky, so I'll try to be as clear as I can. You come up these stairs, you're going to have two space here, and the hallway is going to stretch around. Fencing in this little side room as well, which is one. Two, three, four deep. We're gonna put the wall up over here, zigzag it in. And we're gonna thicken this part up just so that when the roof is completed, we don't have too much jutting in. Makes the wall seem flatter. Okay, next layer. We're going up by one. And we are going to add some more windows as well. So we have a space here for the door, window. A little closet here. Two back from the closet. Window. We'll bring our roofing up again. This is where our porch roofing ends. And we're starting on some roofing on this side. So here's that corner piece. 
second piece up in this corner, we're going to start our roofing here, all the way up to this window. Again, window here, dead center. It's going to be a total of three gap. One, two, three, gap. Window. One, two, three, gap. Window. And on top of these corner windows as well, solid blocks. Here we go. Next layer, we're going to bring these windows up by two. And we're going to add a singular window here. Go up from the stair, it's skip one. Bring in the walls and everything up one. Again with the fireplace up one. We have the upside down stair roofing from the corner piece. And we are going to top that with the front facing stairs like that. We have our completed porch roofing. We're bringing the tower up again by one. We have finished this side roofing at this point. And then for the top, you see how we have this angled roof here. We have slabs coming out for the spine of that. And you're going to add a stair with an upside down stair. Help it point up. So this roofing is done. This one is about to be done. This rolls into this roofing here, which again, because this is a two-sided one, will end up looking like that. Next layer. You're putting the walls up again by one. We're starting the tower windows. It's going to be three. Center here, corner, window, corner, window, like so. We're bringing this little window up here above the stairs up again by one. So it'll kind of help level out those windows. Okay, we're just bringing the walls up and around. And as you can see in here, we are beginning to frame out the fireplace. Just to help you count up here. One, two, three, four. One, two. Just like that. We are nearing completion. So let's take down this uh, next layer here. So as you can see, this wall is going to end here. We're going to flatten it out with three smooth quartz slabs. For the roofing to make it stand out a little bit, we did the brick style stairs. Let's see here. Yeah, just the regular quartz stairs. They're a bit more defined, kind of like shingles on a roof. And here you can see we're getting ready to do our little triangle roof. That's what that's going to build up into. We are going to have two intersecting roofs, two main roofs, I should say. There's going to be a copper roof. It's basically going to go up kind of like that. It's going to go up and the spine is going to go this way and this quartz roof, the spine is going to go this way. So they're going to intersect. 
but we're starting the siding here all along the roof like that this roof is finished we have a two wide area here we're throwing slabs on top of that all the way down to more quartz stairs which are going to wrap around and we are just throwing slabs down on this little roofing area here As you can see from the outside, that quartz makes the little attic roof for that section, which is why we flattened it out so we'd have a bit more space. And here, our tower, the bottom part is closed off. Here's the roof. These windows are singular windows. Makes the tower windows stick out a bit more. What is with all these sheep? <laughs> I'm being grouped by sheep. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, so next layer up. Again, we're bringing these roofs up. You're going to begin to intersect here. Tower's gone up by one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so continuing the roofing. Up like that. And then this layer, three up window. Same on that far side. Roofing up. Then we're going to put in some more windows for the tower. Evenly like that. One space in the middle. There you go. So this section you could empty this out, make this extra space, but I just kind of have it sealed off. You can absolutely make this a secret room. Maybe just expand the attic. Whatever works. We're going to add another layer of the upside down smooth quartz stairs. Just like that. It was one, two, three. Four, five, be three here. Just like that. Okay, we're continuing the roof. That's a single window, single on the far side. Bringing the roof up. Like so. Tower windows, too tall. We'll take a look inside. Okay, and here we have the flat part of the ceiling in line there with the fireplace. We're almost done. Okay, that seals in the roof. Now we're gonna go for our finishing touches. Just give you a look.
Okay, just like that. Again, another look from the inside. Holy bats. There you go. You could hang a chandelier. Something down from there, which would look nice. Okay, next stage. Very close now. We have the spine of this roof done. We have the spine done here. On this side, we have the chimney popping up. Like so. Now we're focusing on the tower roof. Upside down quartz stairs all the way around. Just like that. Gotta fix that. Okay, so that's the rest of it. We'll go over this. So, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Campfire. This is spruce trap doors. Our chimney. And then over here, we placed copper blocks all the way around. Topped them with copper slabs. Threw in another copper block. Wrapped that with copper stairs, copper blocks, and an iron fence. And that is the house. It is completed. I hope you liked it. I hope this made sense. If it didn't, let me know below so I can fix things. Let me know if you made it to the end. And uh, yeah. Thanks so much. Hope that this fits nicely into your world.